Did you know that memories from your ancestors are still stored in your DNA? DNA is a storage device much like a hard drive, and this is why we need to clear blockages for success. Hello, Action Taker. Welcome to Live Blissed Out, a podcast where I have inspirational and informational conversations with business owners and subject matter experts to help you get the scoop on a variety of topics. Tired of hesitating or making decisions without having the big picture? Want to be in the know? Then this is the place to go. I'm your host, Marissa Houston, helping you achieve bliss through awareness and action. So let's get to it. In this episode, Patricia Aron talks about the five steps to manifest anything you want now and beyond without any frustration. Patricia is a highly sought after manifestation and success coach, hypnotherapist, and meditation teacher who has been for nearly 20 years helping go getters rewire their brain for wild success in life, business, and career. To learn more, visit vividrealities.com. Access her free 10 part self hypnosis course to get started at vividrealities.com forward slash LBO. If you'd like to support this podcast and engage with our community, become a professional tier member for backstage access and monthly networking opportunities at ko-fi.com forward slash live blissed out. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast are for general information only, and any reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own risk. This podcast should not be considered professional advice. Patricia, welcome to the show. I am so excited to be here, Marissa, and I'm so excited to be sharing some very helpful information with you today. And we're going to experience some bliss for your blissed out listeners. Okay. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's funny that you say that because I get asked that a lot. Why did I come up with that name for the podcast? People think when I say live blissed out, that it means you always have to be happy. That's not what I mean by living blissed out. It just means to live with awareness. Because if you're aware of what is going on around you, then it brings you more confidence, understanding, and then it gives you that willingness to take that step to move forward. And that's really what this is all about is to stop procrastinating and stop overthinking things and just really open up to new information so that then you have an understanding of what's out there and can make the best decision for yourself. Along those lines, Patricia, what are we talking about and why does it matter to our listeners? Today, we're going to be learning how to instantly and magically let go so that people can manifest a desired outcome or event, and change their lives. And by the way, Marissa, the name of your podcast is very intuitive. Your soul must have known something. Thank you so much for saying that. I'm so glad that you like it. Absolutely. And when you learn to live from this place of bliss, everything is available to you. That's what's so exciting. Today, we're going to look at the five steps to manifesting success. And I'm just going to go briefly over them. And the first one is extremely important, and I can't emphasize this enough, and that is to clear blockages. And the second one we're going to discuss is heartfelt intention, integrity, and mindset. And thirdly, we're going to discuss understanding what the quantum field is, and then we're going to leverage a potent technique. So I want to just go into clearing blockages because it's the biggest part of manifesting success. You have to go along this path to manifest success. Clearing blockages is like cleaning a rusty motor because you have to understand that when our heart and our minds combine, we are a very powerful energy system. Self-hypnosis or hypnotherapy is the fastest way to do this. And you can also do this with meditation, but you do need to have a good, solid mindset. And I was reading somewhere that 70 to 80% of children grow up in dysfunctional families, regardless of any family status. Most of us have issues and old programming, old records within us. By the way, Marissa, did you know that scientists have transferred the contents of a CD, a compact disc, onto a strand of DNA, which means that DNA stores programs just like a memory stick or hard drive. So clearing our blockages is really imperative. Most people destroy their own dreams and 
The reason that's true is because they don't clear their blockages. The mind can't hold to conflicting beliefs because that equals cognitive dissonance. And then that goes on to cause psychological stress and then nothing manifests. So getting clarity equals control over success and your manifesting abilities. And when you get this right, the benefits are enormous and you can enjoy fantastically wild success. There's always a cost if you don't. And whether that be emotionally or mentally, it rolls into an individual spiritually. And when the spirit is affected, it manifests in all different ways. And that's why I call it bad programming, because it eats away at you in one form or another. What we have to do is create new programs for the individual to run off. So that's why clearing blockages is so very, very important. I can imagine. And I really like the way you explain that perfectly. I could visualize it as you were saying it. I would imagine the same would happen to our listeners as they listen to you explain the fact that it is programming. What we're exposed to is what we see. And that is why we have such different viewpoints of the same thing. Correct. We clearly see something and say, well, it's a fact. This is what I see. But you'd be surprised how another individual can get a whole new perspective just based on the programming they've been exposed to. And it's important to understand that in order for us to move ahead. You're so correct. When people come to me wanting more success, more money, or even a better career, I have to teach them that the process to unlocking your full potential is a co-creative effort, which means that you must want the change and the fire must be in your belly to want that change. And the recipe is simple, but you've got to get it right. And it's desire, belief, expectation, and letting go. And I also say that faith is letting go and letting go is faith. It's very important to understand that you've got to have it all together. Absolutely. First, you have to start with the awareness and understanding in order to prepare yourself to take that next step. But you also have to want it, as you say. Oftentimes, we say we want something. But then when we understand what it's going to take for us to get there, and then we're not willing to do that, then that means we're just not ready. Absolutely. Well, you see, the next step is to identify the mindset and beliefs that are stopping you. Because in order to transform We have to get in touch with the core of who we are by erasing those old patterns and beliefs and then replace them with new ones. And let me give you a very common one around money. Most people who lack financial success have a blueprint that they have to be in pain to earn good money or they have grand success or it's not available to them. So in hypnosis or self-hypnosis over a period of time, we actually write a new blueprint to the subconscious mind. And you have to remember, we all have had a lifetime of limiting beliefs given to us by our parents, our family, society, advertising, our peers, and even subliminal advertising. Neuroscience has already proven that when we reprogram the subconscious, we establish new neural pathways in our brains for subconscious beliefs to become automated. So it's very exciting that we can change. And change can happen in the twinkling of an eye, as they say. I think change can be so wonderful because the idea that you can take something that isn't necessarily what you want and turn it into something that you do want means hope to me. It gives me hope. It says anything is possible. Whereas a lot of us have this mindset that change is difficult or change is going to be uncomfortable. And in many ways, it can be because you have to learn new things and you have to be open to new ideas. But the reward is so sweet. Oh, look, I've had some amazing transformations with some of my clients. And I just want to tell you listeners about one of the most amazing transformations. I had a professional footballer come to me. He had a new wife and baby, He had a large mortgage, and he had no other job prospects. Football was his dream career. And he was looking pretty demoralized in front of his teammates, his wife, and, you know, the general public at large. He was the sole breadwinner for his new family because he had a new baby. And he was in dire straits and he had a dire need for an immediate and life-changing outcome. And he came to me and over a period of six weeks, he had his $1 million football contract back and he hadn't even completed the course. It was astonishing. And he said, should I tell people? And I said, no, no. I said, I think you should keep this to yourself. I think you need to uh, keep this under your hat because if they knew, they could toss him off the team. So you've got to be very careful with who you tell. (laughs) 
it's funny you use that example because I was actually talking to a guest recently about people like your client who have this mindset of, I want to do this thing. And this is all I want to do for the rest of my life, which is wonderful because it means they have passion and it's something that they enjoy and they want to do what they love. That's wonderful. But what happens to a lot of people like this individual is when the rug falls out from under them. So let's say they get injured suddenly or get sick or anything unexpected happens that prevents them from doing the very thing that they live their entire lives to fulfill. So now they feel empty. They feel lost. But this guest that I was interviewing said something really wonderful. He said, there are so many avenues that this individual can pursue in that same field that has nothing to do with actually being a player. They could be a coach. They could be a writer. They could do reporting. They could do so many different things in the field that's endless. And yet, absolutely, they don't see it because the only thing they see is what was taken from them. Correct. The next part is the understanding of the quantum field. And it's so exciting because you access the quantum field by meditation or practicing self-hypnosis. And we're going to experience this very exciting self-hypnosis technique in a moment. What you have to have understand about the quantum field is that the field does not care about whether you want an apple or a new car. And why that's exciting is because once you get beyond the attachment to whatever it is you want, you can manifest anything. It's so exciting because people have to open their minds to the fact that you really can have anything. And when you leverage a potent manifestation technique or meditation, all you have to do is be consistent in rewriting your blueprint, just like an athlete in training. And when you're diligent with your investment of time to achieve your goals, you'll start to see magic in your life. I've seen the most amazing transformations in people. It really excites me. I get probably more excited than my clients sometimes. Are you searching for a trusted merchant service provider for your business? SG Associates LLC is your partner for quality payment and merchant service solutions. With over 15 years of experience in credit card processing, SG Associates offers merchants the best pricing, products, and customer service available from a payment and solution service provider. Their number one goal is to save their merchants as much as possible on their credit card processing fees. To learn how they can help you, call one 800 Four five 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 two one one, or visit sg associates llccom You are passionate about helping them. And when you see the results, when you see that what you're putting in is giving you what you were hoping for, and that makes you happy. And I totally get it. Yeah. We're going to do a short exercise now to show you how to let go and access an instant self-hypnosis technique. Keeping your head straight and your eyes closed. I want you to roll your eyes upwards and look right up above your head into the sky. And I want you to roll your eyes back until your eyelids start flickering. And I want you to enjoy this for a few moments. And this should be a very pleasant experience. I don't want you to try and force it. I just want you to allow it until it feels pleasurable. I want to give you 10 seconds to experience this. Okay, and then I want you to open your eyes for a few moments and I want you to notice the difference in the way you feel. So I want you to repeat this process just a couple of times because I want you and your listeners to experience this bliss together. We can all experience this bliss together. So I'm going to repeat the process, keeping your head straight and your eyes closed. I want you to roll your eyes upwards and look up right above your head into the sky. And I want you to roll your eyes back until your eyelids start flickering again. And I want you, again, to enjoy this few moments. And this should be a very pleasant experience. I'll repeat. I don't want you to try and force it. I want you to just allow it until it feels pleasurable. And I now want you to open them again. And I want you to, again, notice how different it feels. How do you feel, Marissa? For me, it's relaxing. And I don't know if that's the right word. I think what happens in most situations is our minds are always working, moving forward, thinking about all kinds of stuff, and it's very active. And when you take a moment to just take a step back and do this exercise, you feel calm, relaxed, relieved, like nothing else matters. 
Absolutely. And when you practice this regularly, you will start to experience magic. If you practice this technique daily at any time to de-stress, you can use this process to reprogram yourself instantly. And I'm going to explain how you can do this. When you open your eyes, you can repeat an affirmation to reprogram yourself, such as, I now weigh 130 pounds or 58 kilos or whatever, or I am now a non-smoker. Now, the very important thing to realize in beginning to program new beliefs into your mind is not that you necessarily believe them at the point of time when you say these affirmations. The very important thing to realize is that you are giving instructions or commands to your subconscious mind. So it doesn't matter that the affirmation is not true, but as long as the affirmation is in the present tense, and I'll repeat what I just said, such as I now weigh 130 pounds or 58 kilos or I am now a non-smoker. It's very important that the affirmation is in the present tense and it's a positive statement. Remember, you are giving instructions or commands to your subconscious and it also helps to feel the feeling of your fulfilled desire as it helps to connect the neuroplasticity, the neural networks in your brain. When Muhammad Ali said, I am the greatest, he was actually instructing his subconscious mind. And I believe that one of your presidents says, no one can do it better than me. And again, he is giving instructions to his subconscious mind. So what we tell ourselves every day really, really matters. This makes total sense. There are people, for example, who wake up in the morning with very negative feelings like, oh, I got to go to work again today and I'm not going to do really well or I don't like the people around me or I've got to go into traffic and I hate traffic. Whatever those negative thoughts are, it's a lot of different things just circling around us. And we don't realize how much that changes our attitude and our ability to do what we want to do. And so trying to flip the switch to be able to program our minds to something positive that will get us where we want to go, that's tough. And so you're saying this process sets the stage. It reprograms us and gets us back to that positive place. And saying that one thing, even though it's not true, when you say, I am 130 pounds, but you're not 130 pounds, you're telling yourself that that's where you want to go. Absolutely. It gives the mind direction. That makes sense. So it's like a GPS for your brain. Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah. I'll elaborate on that and say that if you are not consistent with the direction you want your life to go in, it'd be like reprogramming an aeroplane or a ship to go in a different direction every five seconds. So if you're not consistent with the direction that you want to steer your life towards, then your subconscious mind is going to be very, very confused as to what to give you, what to manifest. So along those lines, I have a question that I think our listeners are probably thinking. And actually, there are two questions. One is, how often do we do this in any given day? Is it just like once a day in the morning when we get up? Does it matter? And then my second question is, are we able to switch up those affirmations? Or should we just stick with one until it becomes truth and then move on to another one? You should stick with one to begin with. And with regards to how often you should do it, you should do it at least twice a day. One of the most uh, potent things you can do is, I know this sounds silly, and I'm sure that your listeners might think that it does sound silly, but to put post-it notes on your screen or change your passwords on your computer to, I am 130 pounds, or I am now a non-smoker, whatever goal it is that you want to achieve, to do this is very, very powerful because just like when you are watching the television, and you watch those advertisements. We all go to the kitchen and make a, go and make a cup of tea or coffee because those darn advertisements are on. Absolutely. Like you see somebody having coffee or ice cream or whatever, and you're like, I wasn't hungry, but now I want coffee or ice cream. Exactly. But now that you've gone to the kitchen to make a cup of tea or coffee, you are engaged in something else. But guess what? That is when those advertisements are at their most powerful because your subconscious mind is listening to them. It's just a program that's running. It's just a program that's flashing to your subconscious mind. You can write it in your diary every day 
as long as your mind is fixed on every day, whether it be written down, post-it notes, or whether it you change your passwords on your computer or whatever, you've got to get your mind fixed on those affirmations daily. Waking up in the morning is good, and before you go to bed is also good. The other thing you should do is not watch television about an hour before you go to bed. You've got to take responsibility for programming your mind. If you're sitting there watching TV and you go straight to bed, then the programs that are running your brain come directly from the television. You've got to switch off the telly and you've got to install the program that you want to run, whatever goal it is that you want to achieve. Because the people who advertise on television are profiting by using your mind to manifest their desires and selling their products. Yes. And in fact, I was watching a show about the 8-track. I don't know if you know what an 8-track was. Back in the 60s, they invented this 8-track that you could stick in your car. And for the very first time, drivers could pick what they were going to listen to in the car. Because prior to that, it was the radio. And they don't get to pick what songs play on the radio. That's fed to them. They didn't have control. And it was the very first time that they had full control over what they were listening to. So what you're saying here is this exercise will help our listeners control how they process their minds so that they can take themselves where they want to go. Absolutely. In addition to that, Marissa, I want to gift to your listeners my free 10-part Manifest on Demand course, which will give them a more nuanced information and help so that they can expand upon what I've given you today. Everyone can go to vividrealities.com forward slash LBO, and LBO is for Live Blissed Out. So it will take them directly to the free 10 part Manifest on Demand course. And if they've got any questions, they can email me directly from that page. It gives our listeners the opportunity to experience the process and get a sense of what this is about. This is building a habit that is a positive way to help move the needle in the direction that you want to take it. Absolutely. I hope that you get a lot of benefit from this instant self-hypnosis technique. It's very, very powerful when you practice it regularly. If you want to achieve anything, if you want to be the Olympic champion of your own life, all you've got to do is practice it daily. You will get results and you'll start to experience magic in your life. Yeah, it's amazing how positive actions lead to positive results. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here, Patricia, and sharing this with us. I so appreciate it. You're very welcome, Marissa. Thank you for having me. And I look forward to speaking with you again shortly. That's a wrap for this episode of Live Blissed Out. Thanks to Patricia Oren for joining us. And thanks for listening. If you have a question or comment for a future episode, all you have to do is go to speakpipe.com forward slash L-B-O-V-M or click the link in the show notes to leave a brief audio message. If you find value in our show, please visit liveblissedout.com to reach out, subscribe and share on social media. This show is made possible through listeners like you. Thank you. So long for now. And remember to keep moving forward.